Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode will take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bolenbach, and today Pluto and I will be breaking your hearts. Only one spacecraft has ever visited Pluto, New Horizons. As it zipped by the dwarf planet in 2015, it snapped this stunning image of the small world you see behind me. Before New Horizons, our best view of Pluto came from the Hubble Space Telescope, and they left a lot to be desired. For the longest time, scientists thought that Pluto was uninteresting with almost no geological features. But to our surprise, New Horizons revealed it has many unique landscapes, and we are still trying to figure them out and understand them today. Perhaps the most well-known of Pluto's features is the planet's iconic heart. Called Tombaugh Regio, it is a vast plain covered with nitrogen ice. It's the most prominent feature on the planet and was named after Clyde Tombaugh, who discovered the world in 1930 at Lowell Observatory. Planetary geologists think that underneath Pluto's frozen nitrogen crust is a mantle of water ice. In Tombaugh Regio, it appears the mantle has burst through, creating mountains, boulders, and chaotic terrain. Mountains in the heart's eastern half are made of water ice, chilled to a temperature of minus 230 degrees Celsius, or minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit. They are literally as strong as rock and as tall as the Himalayas. This eastern portion of Pluto's heart stands in stark contrast to the almost featureless plains that dominate the western half. The west side of the region known as the Sputnik Planitia most likely formed when a large object slammed into the young dwarf planet, but exactly how deep that impact penetrated remains unknown. Today, the basin appears to be filled with ice. New Horizons spotted no impact craters across the plain, which suggests that the ice is less than 10 million years old, which from a cosmic perspective is incredibly young. The eastern region is estimated to be significantly older. Based on cratering counts, it is around 1 billion years old. We do not know for sure the exact age of the entire heart because both sides formed at different times. Now you might be asking yourself, how did these two uniquely formed regions come together and why do they make a distinctive heart shape? Using a simulation to model Pluto's atmosphere, researchers discovered that the heart shape is created by highly volatile nitrogen ice, which refers to a substance that vaporizes readily. This accumulates in the basin and forms a permanent ice reservoir. Seasons last several decades on Pluto, but even as they come and go, the deepest, coldest reaches of the Sputnik Planitia remain frozen in time, while gas and ice from the shallower regions around Tombaugh Regio undergo more rapid, frequent changes. If you could film a time-lapse video of Pluto over hundreds of years, this would look like a beating heart. Pluto has a thin, tenuous atmosphere that expands when the dwarf planet's orbit takes it closer to the sun and collapses as it moves further away, very similar to a comet. No other place in the solar system has a nitrogen atmosphere except Neptune's moon Triton. When the dwarf planet is close to the sun, its surface ice sublimates, which means the ice goes from a solid directly to a gas state and rises to form a temporary atmosphere. Some relatively new research has revealed that Pluto's heart actually makes the planet's winds blow running its atmospheric circulation. The thin layer of nitrogen ice covering Tombaugh Regio warms and turns into vapor during the day. At night, the vapor condenses and once again forms ice. Each sequence pumps nitrogen winds around the dwarf planet. This cycle pushes Pluto's atmosphere to circulate in the opposite direction of its spin. There are many more mysteries scientists hope to solve about Pluto's lonely heart, but one thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards, because the universe sure isn't going to slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.